Greetings, welcome to another Minecraft video. This one, titled Underground Farming, is about setting up a farm underground. Now, this is my second attempt at this video because the first one, the uh, recording came out with no sound on it for some reason. And so I'm having to redo the thing. I had gone through the entire process of carving it out, setting it up, but now I can just show you. And here we have it. Basically, I hollowed out a good sized room, and then I dug a pit that was five squares wide by about five or six squares long and then filled in as you see two rows of dirt and in the middle I put in this trench here I put water on either end and in the middle to create a trench of water and by putting it in the three spaces one in each end and one in the middle it created a still water that doesn't have a current to fight and then from there it's just a simple matter of put up a bunch of torches to provide enough light till the soil and plant some seeds. Now I started this farm with about enough seeds for three blocks worth of planting. And with each harvest I came up with more seeds and planted more. And okay, over there you see some that have recently been planted. Over here these are ready to harvest. Just left click on them you get bushels of wheat and seeds. Some of the seeds fall down in here in the middle so come along here to pick them up. And now go ahead and replant Now I've got enough, now I've only got one square that isn't planted, and with the next harvest that will be planted. And uh, let's see, just for convenience I should put a chest down there somewhere to store the harvest so that I don't have to keep chasing around. Let's see. Yes, I think I'll do that. I'll go up and make a chest. Put a chest down there for storage. In fact, I will make it a double chest to maximize the amount of storage. Honestly, I ought to make a crafting bench down there somewhere so that I don't have to keep chasing all the way up here every time. need something down below. So I will do that too. Okay. crafting bench I would more than likely need down here more than anywhere else. 
I'm going to set that there. Go back up to the garden area. And by the way, this underground trick also does work with trees and anything else you grow. With trees, you need a lot more space vertically. And you can only plant them like uh, I believe it's one sapling every five squares of dirt because they need that much room to grow. Okay, I need to move a couple of torches here. Hello. Mm, we have lag. And with the wheat, of course, and the crafting bench to put three across, and you make bread, which heals about two and a half hearts, I believe. Which is handy for if you're in a situation where you don't have a lot of pigs around, or you just don't want to mess with it because, well, let's face it, the bread, the wheat, doesn't run from you. You don't have to chase it around. There's a decided advantage to not having to chase your food. Okay. These plants seem to take approximately Two or three game days to mature. It's with a gong and some kind of bad uh Bruce Lee movies and that sort of thing here or what? Maybe it's the great underground gong show. But I've been hearing that gong every now and then. So, yo, Adam's family doorbell. Okay, things planted. Meat and seeds stored in the chest. Which I will make that into a double chest later on once this starts to fill up. There we have it. The great underground garden. Brought to you by Froboz Electric. We bring good things to ourselves. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. Zork is has been a favorite influence of mine. With its unique brand of humor. Alright, from here uh, I'm going to hollow out a sufficiently sized cavern and begin construction on a underground tree farm where I'm going to try to have at least a couple of dozen trees growing. And since that's going to mean an awful lot of hollowing out, just plain an awful lot of digging, I'm going to do that outside of the video and I'll report the progress in the next video. Alright, take it easy, I'm out of here.